So I was a rookie astronaut to launch on Atlantis with the STS-117 crew. I hadn't even trained with these guys, but one time in an eight-hour sim, because of the fact that my original flight, STS-118, on Endeavour had been moved uh, due to hail damage on an external tank. So 117 moved, and 118 had to move, and then Sonny Williams was locked in space and getting too much radiation, so they needed to move clay up to 117 to fly in June rather than August, and so here I found myself on STS-117 ready to launch on June the 8th in 2007, having barely trained with this crew I was with. So we launch into space. I'm going to rescue Sunny Williams. I'm going to be her knight in shining armor. I'm going to come take her away from all this radiation that she's accumulating. And we uh, dock with the space station two days after launch. And uh, C.J. Sturkow, our STS-117 commander, was very gracious, very helpful, allowed me to be a part of the crew until he left out one small piece of information when we were to transfer over to the International Space Station. Crew on board the Space Shuttle Atlantis now entering into the International Space Station. And you see the way the shuttle docks to the station and the way the tunnels are all arranged, it, it matters in, critically how you fly through those various tunnels and how you're going to appear through the hatch that connects the station and the shuttle. Mission Specialist Jim Riley floating into the foreground, Pat Forrester on the left. I would learn later on STS-131 that there is a method to that madness, but no one informed me of that, and I was the last guy on the 117 crew that was going to transfer into the ISS. Commander Rick Sterko was the first through the hatch. So as I flew into the International Space Station for the first time, a rookie space flyer, I noticed, hey, why is everybody upside down? That's kind of weird. And I continued to float in, and I was kind of disoriented, but I noticed that everybody was upside down. Well, it turns out, they were all right side up. I was the guy that was upside down because I hadn't gotten the briefing that said you have to fly in this way and turn this way to come into the station in a heads-up attitude. The mission specialist Clay Anderson on the right, upside down. And so um, they all made fun of me, but but I took it as a as a symbolic gesture, right, that I'm kind of a little off anyway. Uh, I like to have a good time. I'm a little crazy. Some people in the Mission Control Center would think I'm nuts. But uh, for Clay to come in to the International Space Station for the very first time on his very first mission, upside down, well, that set a good mark for me, and, and now I'm very proud of that. <laughs>